Hi, I'm Brad Fincher, drummer of Devourment, and this is my drum set. Uh, it is a Mapex Armory circa 2018. I think it's called Midnight Burst Finish. Uh, I was looking at uh, mid-range to, you know, price kits. I didn't want to, I can afford, you know, expensive kits, but I think it's just too much for what I'm doing. Uh, so a really good sounding, so I wanted something in the maple, birch, mahogany family. And for me, this had a couple unique features. It's a maple birch hybrid construction, so it's got the you know the punch and the warmth and all the stuff I wanted tonally. Uh, and they have this thing called the uh, sound edge, bearing edge or something uh, that I really like. This more kind of retro. It's like a, almost rounded and thicker, so it's it's meatier body sounding instead of attack, which is more modern sounding, I guess. So I was going for a more retro sound. So to me, it, and when I played it, that's it's kind of the sound I wanted. A round, fat, thick, and I tune really low. Uh, especially compared to most death metal drummers trying to play fast. I know it's kind of backwards, but I just really like low, heavy, thuddy, thick sounding drums. Um, so that's kind of why I landed on the Mapex Armories. I thought they had a couple unique features. Everyone loves Tom and Pearl, so do I. But I just thought this was a more of what I had in my head sound wise. So it kind of fit the bill. Originally I just bought the five piece kit, which is a regular five piece standard size depth. So again, I don't know diameters. 18, 22 kick. And I added a, a another 22 bass drum and an 8 inch tom, so 8, 10, 12, 16. Um, so it's kind of, you know, broad range, there's no 14 in here, I don't really do two floor toms or any kind of stuff. As I said, this is the full setup I would like to use for whatever. If, uh, you know, stage constraint sizes or we're on a tour and I just want to not have to set up quite as much stuff, I can eliminate this tom, this kick drum, this china, and this crash. So essentially, almost the entire left side half of the kit I can cut off and just used all these cymbals and all these drums. So it's a, basically a five piece um, and just these sided cymbals, gone, none of those cymbals and that kick drum and that are gone. And essentially get the same job done. It's just I have a little more you know, leeway. With it. I can get more crash accents and more china accents where I'm doing blasts on the left hand side instead of having to reach over. But that's a convenience thing, so I can deal with it if I have to. Uh, heads, right. I've always been Evans forever. Like, ever since I started, I've played Remo and everything else, but I've just never had any reason to not. I love every, all their stuff. And I've, uh, Toms have always been, for the past five or seven years, six, seven years, um, the uh, hydraulics. Again, I'm, I'm going for that thuddier, retro, thick, meaty sound instead of a precise attack and tuning low. So I want that really wet, kind of almost injustice for all. Lars Ulrich really fucking just pump you know um, so yeah it's a, always been hydraulics I can do with like any two of any of their two ply heads like the G2s or whatever work fine too I just like these are a little thicker and have the the layer of oil between them to make it even more thuddy um, so yeah for the toms always hydraulics normal uh, I guess all my heads are black sort of by design so it's just the ebony resonance uh, Evans uh, heads on the snare I've gone back and forth I'm now I'm using the same thing here it's just a coated hydraulic black uh, it was a 300 hazy resonant, typical. Um, I can, I did use the Evans Hybrid years ago, that the marching, you know, uh, snare head, and uh, like the HD Dry, which a lot of people use, great too. But this is just kind of what I've been rocking, and I've just to keep it all the same. Um, now on the kicks too, I do uh, uh, Ebony Hydraulics as well. So it's basically Evans Hydraulics on the entire kit, real simple. <laughs> and the standard resonance, I think it's an EQ2 on the bass drum resonance. And a custom graphic I had a buddy in Dallas do, um, but uh, yeah, heads are pretty consistently the same. But changing them, uh, I definitely need to change them more than I do. Uh, these are probably, I don't want to say how long these have been. <laughs> They've been on here a long time. They need to be changed. I've actually just started putting a hole in this bass drum, so that needs to go like ASAP. Uh, as soon as I get off this show, and <laughs> we'll, we'll switch that. I'm going to have to tape it up for tonight probably. The snare. I've had the uh, Mapex Armory snare that came with the kit, which is a steel snare 6x14, six, six which is great. I just always have like seen people with Black Panther snares, thought, okay, I need to try one. So I just you know, forked out the money, and uh, at the time, it was the Matt uh, Halpern from Periphery signature snare, the uh, Wraith. So it's a 6x14 brass shell with like uh, stained black or whatever, but it's just, it's a brass shell, like a 1.3 millimeter or something like that. Um, and it's like the first, yeah, this is this is my snare sound. I just love the, the brass, the crack, and the body, combination of the depth and the metal. Um, I'm a metal snare guy now. I've played wood forever, but I, I love the snare. Symbols are kind of an interesting story. Honestly, for my entire career, I've played Sabian AAX, AAXs all the way around, forever. Just maybe like six or seven months ago, I had some friends that had the, this 
newish line of the of mine old classic customs darks with this crazy like black finish and stuff and uh honestly i just i not just because of the look i did like the look too but the sound was kind of what i was going for a little more cut more body uh really piercing bell in china and stuff so i just changed it all out played our first show with it and i you know hearing it back i really liked the change so i think this is what i'm going to stick with it's all classics custom series line uh dark crashes so this is a 16 inch uh trap dark trash china with the holes in it uh, the 14 inch dark hi-hats, uh, 16 inch heavy dark crash, 16 inch regular dark crash. Uh, this is the 10 inch uh, dark splash, 18 inch dark crash, 20 inch dark ride, and uh, 18 inch dark china. Again, sort of intentional, but not really all black hardware. Uh, at the time when I bought my first Mapex kit, they had these all black hardware uh, stands and stuff, so I just kind of got all the, it's a mix between their Mars line and their armory line, but uh, everything I got they come in chrome or black, so I was like, I'm gonna get the black, why not? Um, so yeah, it's all armory stands and more and a couple Mars stands mixed in, uh, Mapex, and uh, a couple like Gibraltar grabber arms, or, or sorry, Tama, Tama grabber arms and a Gibraltar grabber arm, I could, whatever brand doesn't really matter for that. Um, that's it for the stands, another grabber arm for the China, it's just so I can eliminate how many things are on the floor. So use as many like double stands as I can. Um, yeah, that's it for the hardware. Sticks, I, I've been kind of going back and forth. I've always been Promark, so 5As, 5A rebound uh, nylons or 5A rebound active grips. Uh, they just don't make these in nylon or I wouldn't have the same one. But uh, yeah, my hands get sweaty, so sometimes I need these guys. <clears throat> but yeah, always Promark, always 5As of some kind. Pedals are uh, trick dominators that I got. These are the second Dominators I've had. I've had uh, another pair for like eight, nine years, and they were just tanks. I've played Axis a bunch of times, and they always break on me. So I just like, now I'm going to go back to Trick, and I've had these for like four or five years, and same thing. Smooth, tank, easy to adjust, no problems. So they're just kind of perfect for death metal and heavy hitting and fast stuff. So They come with aluminum beaters, which are sick, and they sound great. They just destroy heads because it's a piece of metal. You're smacking into the, your face drum head, which is great if you don't care about replacing heads all the time. So I went to the I, uh, Tama Iron Cobra, uh, sorry, Speed Cobra ones with the, like, a, it's kind of a softish hard rubber, but it's kind of perfect because it doesn't ever punch through, but it still gives a kind of cool punchy sound that's not overly clicky and it's not overly soft like a felt. So, and they're lighter, so, which I, I kind of like. And the Rock and Sock Drone, I gotta have this guy. <laughs> Easy to adjust, padded. I mean, I get the like sore butt after a while playing like double bass for an hour is pretty brutal. So the accessories and our little add-on items. Yeah, the SBK symbol case has been a lifesaver for travel shows. Like I used to have a, <clears throat> a bag, <clears throat> excuse me, for symbols and just carrying it through airports in China and Japan is a nightmare. So uh, something with wheels, as many symbols as I carry, it's heavy as, you know, it's heavy as hell. Uh, I have to have some kind of fan or blower. I just sweat like Audrey Agassi on, you know, like a madman for whatever reason. Um, I got a, a pedal bag for the tricks, which is, I don't even know what that is, gator case, I think. Uh, a head armor case, I used to have a gator case. Um, stick bag, actually, this stick bag I've had for like 20 years. I won it in like a drum contest at uh, Mars Music years ago or something. Um, that's pretty much it. That's my essentials, I think. Thanks for checking out my gear. This is Brad from Devourment again. If you want to see more of us, uh, check us out on all our socials, Instagram, Devourment Official, Facebook, Devourment Official, uh, Twitter, same thing. Uh, we have a page, devourementofficial.com. You can email us, see our EPK, see our videos, music, etc., etc. Uh, Holy Mountain Printing for merchandise. Um, or just email us at uh, devourementband at gmail.com.